Oh, you're Sefka. Oh, hello. You're all right. Very good. She's safe with me now. Uh -huh. I presume you're to thank. The treatment is going well, stabilized for the most part. What? Fascinating, really. Oh no. Here you are, as promised. Ooh. Numbing mist. Oh, I don't thank know what happened came. just now. Be a dear. Find me some more. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> God damn it. I regret everything. There may yet be humans out there. If you find them, send them to Yusefka's clinic. I endeavor to treat every survivor there is. <sighs> so please, be a saint. Damn it. So, who knows what weird experiments she's doing with that very, uh, I mean, I couldn't see her, but she sounded very normal and not sick. And that's what she needed, like human test subjects, apparently. Oh my god. Well, at least that <laughs> that old lady wasn't particularly uh wasn't particularly nice. <laughs> it still sucks that nobody I I mean who knows what she's doing, but she's definitely doing something the old lady didn't sign up for. That much I think is certain. <laughs> Okay, so let's just wipe that off of our memory. I guess so. She seemed so nice though. Like, we turned out okay, right? Okie dokie. And then the cannon, watch out. Because that is an insta kill, I'm assuming. Uh oh. Whoa, boy. I'm gonna take care of the riffraff. And keep our eyes open for windmills, honestly. Like, there must be another one somewhere. And if I can find one, that's for sure gonna be the shortcut. Now I'm actually thinking if this guy on top of this uh, windmill, if he's a bad dude. Maybe I should send him to Yosefka, <laughs> just to see what happens. I, I got really bad vibes from both of them. Let's try again. There's one... Werewolf over here, one beast. Of the very, very bad kind. Just keep your distance. You're lucky he's gonna fall off by himself. There we go. Easy peasy. I'm willing to experiment on this. Maybe I'm making a terrible choice. There's no way to just ch jump off mid uh, climb on these ladders, unfortunately. Let's tell him of Josefka's clinic and see what happens. I'm curious. I don't think this would lead to like a bad ending or some, something like that. Yeah, he's still here. Hey, Bob. dude. Blimey. That scared me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, would you like... Well, I'll Try be. it. Thank you. It's about time I made a move. <laughs> I can't very well stay out on my own. Oh, you're giving me hope. Terribly kind of you. Take this. It's all I can offer us, thanks. Uh, oh, great. Thank you. It's about time I made a move. 
I can't very well stay out. <laughs> what a creep. Um, yeah. Still just as stumped as ever with this particular section. But still, like... <sighs> there is an item in, in the on the front of this uh, building on a... On a on a um, platform there. Ah, oh, damn it. Thought I could run through there. Like, I'm not... Uh, I'm not hallucinating this. So it's just the way back up, right? Yeah. There maybe an entry that I couldn't find. Well, the the windmill's clearly busted, as we can see. Stay a distance. Better top off. You also do more damage when we are at top HP, by the way. Oh, it was already on. I thought that it turned off. That's the way out. Nothing here. Oh well, whatever. Okay. Hmm. Back in Snake Town. Okay, okay. Get the point. There's another item this way as well. Ah, yeah. Never found this, nice. Did we ever go? Hold up. No way. No way! Who are you? Ah, a new face, are you? And an accomplished hunter, it would appear. <laughs> I am it. Volta, master of the League. Members of the League cleanse the streets of all the filth that spread about during the hunt. Like any half-decent hunter ought to, you know? Haven't you seen enough of these wretched beasts, freakish slugs and mad doctors? Sentence hmm. these fiends to death with the help of your League confederates. What do you say? <laughs> Why not join the League? Hmm. Again, first of all, you've got an impeccable taste in uh, weapons. Although not so much in headgear. What is this? Is this like a bucket? More like a, an executioner's um, mask of some kind, even though I don't see the eyelids or eye uh, openings. Uh, secondly, his approach to hunting beasts is pretty much the philosophy that I've been going through, but uh, 
I didn't like the way he told me that, but sure, let's yes. join the league. As a Why hunter, not? well should. Commit this to heart. Our own Carol Rune, symbol of the league. Stop talking like that. The night brims with defiled oh, scum no. and is permeated by their rotten stench. Just think, now you're all set to hunt and kill to your heart's content. Hunt in cooperation with your fellows. You're, You're making me regret this. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. So I think this is the invasion covenant? No. There is one thing you must know. By the oath of the League, those who bear its rune will see vermin. Vermin writhe deep within all filth and are the root of man's impurity. All vermin oh, man. are to be crushed the league exists to expunge all vermin ridding us of any trace of human corruption and so until we are rid of all vermin you must continue to hunt and kill this bloody fate is ours wow alone. do not expect the world to grasp our work but remember the Confederates will always have my blessing and each other. Always. <laughs> Lay it on thick, won't you? The League exists, and so, and this blood do and. Man, he, uh. You, you didn't do a very good job, uh. sealing the deal there. I don't think I'll equip this, but it's good that we found it, I guess. Also, he has a shortcut. Motherfucker. It was just like one uh, little step out of the fucking... Uh, it, we saw the new area and instead of looking around a little bit, we just went on ahead and missed the very obvious huge sh shortcut. Man. Okay, at least we've finally done some progress. Okay, so... Yeah, this is... Alright. I went up here and I never went down here. So let's go this way, even though we just came from this. Oh, you know what? I do remember now again. Like, this... Path... Leads me through a very narrow corridor of crawling death. Lock on, please. They're not so bad. Uh, wasn't there another item? <laughs> I might have. Slipped it beneath the cracks of the environment. Now it's lost to the void or something. Okay. Yeah, you can go either way, I guess. To the right is just as well. I think there were there used to be some item uh, down there that I needed to get, which I already got. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, I think I saw this pig at first. Let's see, can I get it to run into the fire? Uh-oh. <laughs> it does, but it's not that effective. <laughs> Instant roast... Roast pig. Does it all by itself. And you thought you could sneak up on me, huh? Sneaky, sneaky. Okay. Um, what is... Ah, that's the boss, huh? How do I get over there? Would it be 
copy this. Actually, it definitely wouldn't be because. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, we, we're still. We're still finding stuff that we found already, but. I think now I know. We have to go down this way. We've come. Come up there. Uh, from, from the left here, from, from this direction. And this should be the boss. Okay. Oh, yeah. For sure. Well, hope you're ready. Because I sure am not. What? Shadows. Forest sorcerers of some kind? Well, that's interesting, to say the least. One has a katana. Probably want to take care of him first. Zoning me. <laughs> yeah, they are the the ring rays, aren't they? Nazgul. Uh oh, I'm stuck. He actually stunned me. Sort of. So far, this is nothing too special. Should top off. Oh god. You can use the gravestones as... We, uh, had... With Father Gascoigne. I wanted to target the other guy. We can do this. Too many attacks. But we want to be safe with this. Don't want to have to wander the snake labyrinth again. The question is what's going to end up happening when one of them dies? I was hoping this would happen. Uh, if you get close enough. The fireballs don't actually do anything. What is this? Of course they're snakes! Why wouldn't they be snakes? Just try trying to get some... Stop it. Which makes me feel very stupid for not equipping the antidotes in time. They got some reach. Holy shit. Can I kill you? Too risky, too risky, too risky. Believe me, I would have liked to. Oh, he's got... He's got a fiery sword now, and the... Oh dear, splash damage is out. Oh, this world. It won't get, let me get near. Shadow of Yarnum. Stop hiding, you little bitch! That's one of them. I wonder... If they have a third phase? Just... Keep them at bay. I'm really surprised there's no... Dear God! I'm surprised there's no poison attack so far. Oh my god. Nine blood vials left. I 
I guess we're sort of evenly matched since the whip is kind of a snake of its own. Should also try parrying them, but I'm a, I'm too afraid for that. It's a bad whiff. Don't like not seeing you at all times. No, oh, he's gonna lash out soon. Yeah, be careful with that. I lost act uh lost that focus there. Oh <laughs> I could actually uh stun him out of his attack there. Fortunately taking a hit right afterwards sort of nullifies that. So the fire sword one is the one oh I'm stuck. Is the one with the lower health at this point, and also probably the mo most, although the other one has more reach, so I don't know who's more dangerous. Now I mean to jump. Nine, seven more blood vials. I do want to make this in the first try. The area sort of invites this, even though it's maybe it's a little annoying or boring to watch, but. This is the sort of thing the area sort of invites of me. That was dumb. Just chip away. Chip, chip, cheerio. It's almost dead. Maybe two more hits. I guess they both have their ranged attacks. Just give me one opening. Just one. There we go. Now I can maybe... I knew there was... What? What? <laughs> was too good to be true. Okay, so they only come out sometimes. And they're almost a guaranteed hit. I don't know. Heal up. There's no need to be this risky about it. Oh, that <laughs> multiplying it seems. Okay. So I give it a try. One more! <laughs> Woo. Nice. Nice! Blood Rapture. Let's see. A carol rune that transcribes inhuman sounds. Blood Rapture is the raw euphoria of the warmth of blood. Restores HP with visceral attacks. One of the darker hunter techniques. We already used to do that. Oh, restores HP with visceral attacks. So even if you aren't hurt, if you get a visceral on an enemy, you restore HP. That is amazing, actually. This rune resonates with servants of the queen, carrier of the child of blood who yearn for their queen's blood with the little hope with little hope of requitement. For them, they find solace in blood raptures that serve, serves as a surrogate for their desires. Sick. Man, that's a relief, huh? <laughs> thank you, thank you for all your cheers and votes of confidence in chat. <laughs> Although there was some acknowledgement there, so thanks for that. Just getting out of here because I don't know what's up. I want to go back as well. But at the same time, I've been meaning to check out the runes and now that we've got another one right now, you might want to uh, 
Wait a second. No, we did. Hold on a second. Yeah, we, we did have three equipped right now. And just uh, putting them away. Yeah, it just shows up on the right there. We had, which ones do we have? Air, lake, and, ah. So you can swap the slots and then, gotcha. So, we had lake, increased physical damage reduction, that's good. This for attacks, grand more blood echoes, we don't really need that. Um, blood rapture, I think might be good. And then, hmm. Prince resistance, I don't know. Poison resistance might be good for this area, but we just finished it. But I'm gonna put it on just in case. And then we have this impurity rune from the guy in the in the windmill. Carol rune that transcribes inhuman sounds. This rune discovered but discovered inside the forbidden beast eater came to symbolize impurity in the oath of the league. Confederates of the league cooperate with hunters from other worlds and hunt to discover vermin. Vermin writhe within filth and are the root of man's impurity. Crush all vermin without hesitation. I'm not going to do that. I heard there's sort of a... I don't know, like some some NPCs might be hostile to you if you're associated with the wrong crowd. And the way he came off, it didn't really seem very inviting. Um, rifle spear. Need one more twin blood shard, stone shard. You could also try out the stake trap. I actually haven't even looked at uh, what it. Uh, Oh, because we don't have the strength requirement of it already. Uh, we don't have it yet. It looks cool. Maybe I'll try it on my other character. Okay, uh... Now... What to do with 68,000 souls? I guess I could level up. Welcome, At... Uh, 22... Vitality, I feel relatively okay. Maybe 20 endurance might be nice and... Should we go for 18 strength? Sure. I'll Farewell, check out the stake hunter. driver. May you... Maybe it's awesome. Wow. So this is the thing that Jura had, the guy on the tower in Old Yarnum. Yeah, I remember this attack quite well. And it transforms into this. What the hell? Does it like extend or something? Yeah, okay, so you're sort of cocking it like a gun. You have to keep putting it back each time. I don't know what to think of this. Piston spear. That's a, that's a good way of describing it. Stick driver allows for high damage critical attacks, but is difficult to use and leaves its wearer wide, wide open, but none of this should bother the me, the mere powder kegs. Sure, okay. I don't know if I'm going to use that, honestly. I want to try out the, the Blades of Mercy some more. And with the rest... Hmm. Fortunately, we can't afford any of these things. Let's go with a few more antidotes and maybe a rope Molotov cocktail or two. Or exactly two. <laughs> and we haven't talked to the bath messengers for a while. They also have some good stuff. Can buy fire and bolt paper now. And these are actually some items that I've gotten after beating, I think, Blood Star of Beast. And I did buy the chest pieces of these guys just in case. But we can have some 
Uh, we could read some lore uh, about Jora and his friend. Grey Wolf Cap, attire of the retired hunter Jora. This worn cap was the lone wolf's trademark. Jora was known through his contact with the powder kegs, the heretics of the workshop. He is said to have been both uncommonly kind and dreadfully foolish. Huh. Jora felt defeated by the state of Old Yarnum and renounced his hunter vows. And apparently his ash hunter attire is painted with ash in a ceremony to ward off blood. And Hendrik, Henrik, um, taciturn old hunter Hendrik was once partnered with Gascoigne, and though they were a fierce and gallant duo, their partnership led to Hendrik's uh, tragically long life. Henrik's unique yellow garb is resistant to bolt and will be of great help to any hunter who has inherent, inherited the onus of the hunt. The partnership with Gascoigne led to Henrik's tragically long life. It's a burden to him. Who knows? But that kind of stuff is interesting to me. All these guys are already like way more interesting than anybody in Dark Souls 2 ever were. Okay, let's go back. Uh, it should be here, right? Forbidden Grave. Let's see who's buried. 